An SUV up in flames and a woman is trapped inside. Tonight, several Good Samaritans and quick thinking first responders are being called heroes. This happened last night in Tenafly near the Bergenfield border. Firefighters say the woman was pulled to safety just in the nick of time. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor has the story new at 5 30. This video shows the car fully engulfed in flames. Moments before, a woman had been trapped inside after crashing into a tree along River Edge Road in Tenafly. I heard a lot, two loud noises that came out here, and the car was between this tree and the other tree. Robert Fuller, a retired firefighter, heard the crash on his property around 11 o'clock last night and immediately called 911. The flames were about 15 feet high. James Pannone and his 15 year old son Michael were driving by when Michael noticed a faint orange glow. I had told my dad, listen, we should turn around. Maybe there's a car fire. James, also a former firefighter, went back. I got to the vehicle. The lady was completely passed out. I tried to get her out. I couldn't reach because the dashboard and the engine and the firewall had crushed onto her legs. At that point, first responders showed up. Pannone assisted by using a fire extinguisher to keep the flames at bay. Police and fire worked to cut the driver from her seatbelt. Just as we got her out of, out of the car, the back seat was fully involved. He pulled her out just in time before the car got engulfed. So the police officers here in Tenafly did a good job. Police say initial indications are that the driver lost control while trying to navigate a curve, crossed over, and crashed into the tree. At this point, she's only been identified as a 39 year old woman from Newark. At this time, no charges have been filed. The woman was taken to Hackensack University Medical Center with serious injuries. The Pannones are hoping she's okay. As for whether Michael is thinking about following in his father's firefighter footsteps after this rescue, not really. It seems too stressful. But he says he'd do it all over again if he had to. In Tenafly, New Jersey, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. And police are also thanking the father and son for stopping to help.